Hey guys, it's Cosmo the Coder here, and I'm going to make a short video just to give you a rough idea of what's going to be going on in the next few weeks or slash months in terms of games, what's going on streaming on Twitch and on YouTube. So, you know, spring has finally sprung, we're into April now, Easter holidays and everything. We're going to be looking at a good few AAA games coming out for PC and I've managed to get my hand on a few of them and hopefully there's going to be some quite cool videos coming up. So right now we're going through Half-Life 2 the update mod. Something I've been thinking about doing just for a bit of a bit of a bit of a sort of change of pace. Go back to an old classic game and enjoy it. And I'm quite I'm enjoying it too, so I'm just uploading some videos now to do with that. Now next week is hopefully, as long as they don't delay it again, the release of Grand Theft Auto 5. A game that has been out for a year and a half on everything else, well, on on la the last gen consoles and almost six months now on next gen consoles. Now, I am denied about getting this because I am a fan of the Grand Theft Auto games. I do enjoy it, and yeah, the sort of the looking at the general sort of feel of it, I I do believe it's a game I'm going to really enjoy playing. It's going to be long, based on its the campaign, and it, especially if I go for online play as well, that's going to be quite interesting as well, hopefully. Now, my computer is not necessarily as powerful as it needs to be to play this, so my hope is that I'll be able to play it and stream it. If not, I'm going to have to do um, some playing around and see what I can do, what can or can't get away with in terms of playing it on my computer and streaming and videoing it. Now, this does come at a bit of a cost, now, um, because at the same, on the same day is Mortal Kombat 10. Now, I am a fan of Mortal Kombat. I have been since it first came out. Uh, all the way back, you know, when. <laughs> Makes me feel really old. But the fact is that um, I had to come up, I had to make a decision about whether I got Mortal Kombat 10 or Grand Theft Auto 5, as my budget just wouldn't, couldn't cope with it after the whole hullabaloo with the Batman Arkham Knight stuff. I'll get to that in a minute. So essentially, um, as much as I would l love to get Mortal Kombat 10, it's unlikely to happen on release date. It's going to be have to be something that I do a bit later on, which is a big shame because I loved Mortal Kombat 9. I thought it was a great reboot of the whole series and the whole method, you know, whole sort of fighting style that Mortal Kombat brought to the table compared to Street Fighter. But there you have it. So it's. It, it's a shame, you know, I'm not an, an expert in fighting games, but, you know, the violence and the the essence of Mortal Kombat is something that really, I find really quite kind of cool. So, at some point, Mortal Kombat 10, but probably not until it comes down a lot in price. Uh, <clears throat> so, Grand Theft Auto 5, definitely for, for quite a, for a bit. Coming out in May, we have got The Witcher 3. Now, I have played the previous two games, big fan of the games, enjoyed them, really looking forward to The Witcher 3, and I've been trying to follow as much as I can with the videos that are being made available by uh, CD Projekt. It's CD Projekt, isn't it? I'm doubting myself now, but uh, hopefully that's right. If it's not right, then I'm an idiot, what the heck, whatever. <clears throat> so, coming out in May, about mid-May, I think it's the 16th of May, is which the Witcher 3 and based on what I read the game its main campaign itself is almost 50 hours long which worries me a little bit because it's, it took me nearly six months to play 50 hours of Skyrim now granted that's three hours per week roughly give or take a few extra bits here and there where I, where I finished a game or I had an extra day or something like that but to play that much game of a game and get it all uploaded and everything is going to take months for me. Especially with a baby to, that may be interrupting my gameplay sessions, which is something that we're going to have to, I'm going to have to sort of play around with and see how we go. Now, the obvious downside to all this is that um, such a long game will interfere with me playing anything else. Um, so it might be that Skyrim takes a pause and we play The Witcher for. The Witcher 4, The Witcher 3, for quite for a long period, or it might be that we, we split The Witcher up into sections, 
or anything else. I mean, if I actually do the side content as well as the main campaign, apparently that's nearly 200 hours. So I could be here to the next Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> which would be quite interesting. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with how, how the with the Doom of the Witcher three, but definitely on the table Witcher three. It might be that it's split amongst the games and it goes on for quite some time over the next few months. But it is definitely a game I want to play. Now come June, everyone is in in high anticipation for Batman: Arkham Knight. Now I have sorted out my pre-order problem. Unfortunately, I've had to cancel the physical order I made because the retailer just basically couldn't say whether or not they're going to get a physical copy or a digital copy. And that wasn't good enough for me, so I had to cancel it and I've had to re readjust my budget to, to make sure that I can, first of all, get Batman Arkham Knight on, before release, on or before release date and preload it and get it all ready. And I will be playing Batman Arkham Knight come June, whether I have finished, uh, finished Witcher 3 or Grand Theft Auto or whatever. So the general plan is to play Grand Theft Auto 5 when it comes out, and then possibly stop and play The Witcher 3 when it comes out, and then play Batman Arkham Knight, and then tie up any loose ends that are left over. Now, at the moment, I'm also in, kind of in the middle of Resident Evil 6, which has kind of taken a bit of a pause. And that might be something that I go back to in between the games, just to sort of break things up and everything. I'm also about, about two thirds of the way through Prince of Persia: Sands of Time, which I did start and I will finish because I, you know, I'm one of these people that needs to finish things. I will finish the game at some point, just to, if, if only just to make sure it, it's the upload the videos are done and get it off my hard disk because. It's getting more and more full with the more, and more the bigger games that are coming out, especially Grand Theft Auto 5. Apparently, it's like 65 gigs. That's huge. Well, maybe not huge in PC hard disk terms, but it's it's certainly a big kind of game. So there you have it. That's the general sort of plan, certainly, and that should certainly take us all the way to autumn at least, if not to winter this year, where hopefully there's going to be some more cool games coming up. Not to mention the fact, now actually think about it, there's going to be also a few more games to play, like um, Life is Strange, Episode 3, 4, and possibly 5. Um, anything else? Can't think of anything. I'll probably add, add, add it to the list as we go. So that's the plan, guys. As always, let me know what you think. If you want me to prioritize different things over, over other things, then let me know. Um, I have had people ask me to play certain things recently um, I'm going to say I'll put them on the list and if I get to them I get to them if I don't then sorry that's the kind of that's, that's the situation you know I've only got so much time to play games I have to pick and choose what I want to play and if it comes down to it I will play what I want and what, I, what is available to me over what you guys want me to play Unless it's really a really good idea to play it, and I, then I'll change things up a little bit. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, subscribe, do all the bits and pieces that you usually do for anyone on YouTube. And I hope to see you guys for a playthrough or two later on. Okay? See you later.